Hey there, Sarge. Balhoon's dead, just like the rest of his squad. I thought you should know. He's really dead? That's the best medicine I could ask for. I admit, I didn't think it was possible. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I didn't even break a sweat. I'm glad the right person went after him then. He's been a thorn in the Empire's side for too long. Sergeant, there's a Kolto tank available now. I'm sorry to cut this short, but it sounds like I need to go. Thank you. Okay, return to Lord Vago. Now this will be the final assault, right? My lord, the probes have returned. But the data is coming through now. What is that? It's a hangar, you twit. Just keep monitoring it and notify me if anything, even an insect, flies out. I do hope I'm not the only competent Sith on this planet. The Republic is amassing a fleet, and I need someone capable to step in. My power knows no bounds. Your confidence nearly rivals my own. The recent increase in carrier activity led me to suspect the Republic was stockpiling a secret hangar of sorts. As always, I was right. The hangar itself is still under construction, but the fleet they've assembled easily dwarfs our own. Bring out the artillery and level the place. Oh, if I had the firepower here to do so, I'd already be dancing over its charred ruins. An orbital bombardment ought to reduce that hangar to dust. But first, my fleet will need the hangar's exact coordinates. This team can plant beacons in the hangar's vicinity, and our ships will destroy the Republic's greatest secret weapon in a single rain of fire. Brilliant, my lord. Now you'll see what a Sith is capable of. The Republic knows the hangar is vulnerable, so they'll be prepared. Just storm past their defenses and plant those beacons. By the time they realize what you were up to, we'll already be raining fire upon them. Yay! Where? Over there. Go. Wow, am I stuck? Yep. Okay. Let's plan out a strategy here. So, should I just go avoid them or kill everyone? Decisions, decisions. I'll kill the guys over there and see if there's a bonus. If there's not, let's just leave. You missed? Did you fucking miss? Yeah, there is a bonus. However, it's also inside, so... I'm led to believe that there's gonna be more than enough... Um, Republic forces inside for me to sate my hunger. I think I can avoid them by jumping through here. Yep. Hi there.
That's the second. I would assume that's the first. Yeah. Uh, I'll eliminate them. Why not? I need more kills anyway. Actually, I need way more kills. Okay, let's plant it. And now for the third one. There's only a heavy security droid there, so this should be rather simple, I think. Attach a strike beacon to the... What? Transport? Ah, that transport. Okay, let's go. I just need two more, so I'm just gonna do this right now. Well, three more. I thought I had 23, to be honest. Okay, now, let us attach the beacon. Where do we attach it? Right here? Got it. Okay, let's go to Lord Vago. Let's see what he's got to say. I've earned quite a bit of money this round. This uh, session, I mean. Round. Lol. Perfect. The beacons are feeding the hangar's coordinates to my ships as we speak. Once the fleet is in position, we can commence the bombardment and turn that hangar into a smoldering crater. I'll keep an eye out for the explosions. Please do. It will be quite the spectacle. All ships are in position. Stand by for orbital assault. Excellent work out there. I doubt I could have done a better job of it myself. Me too. My master is as generous as he is wise. Colonel Sarab will have your reward waiting for you when you return. Your master is a fool, and you're a fool for following him. I don't know what you mean. My master is unparalleled. We, we could never have accomplished this operation without his insights. I think you'd best be going now. Is that a threat, buddy? Okay, let's go to Colonel Surab. triumphant. You have fought and bled alongside my legionnaires, and I welcome you back as one of our own. It was an honor to fight alongside your men, Colonel. The honor was entirely ours. My lord was impressed. 
neither his praise nor his rewards come lightly. Revel in the rewards of Lord Vargo, and know that you will always be welcome among the ranks of the 75th. I expect a call the next time you're on leave. I shall keep that in mind. Farewell. Well, that is it. Now let's go to the ship's hollow terminal. Actually, this is gonna take longer, to be honest, so let's just go to our ship. Wow, the whole crew wants to talk to me. But first, let's finish this. Apprentice, the war trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moth Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. I'm gonna do that on the next session because I'm very thirsty right now. General Ferrer. Okay, now let's uh, speak to the whole crew pretty much. Hey there, Pierce. My lord, drop my things in the crew bunks. Good ship. Quinn's already briefed me. I'm handling demolitions and heavy firepower support. Didn't know the captain ran things around here. I'd rather take my orders direct. Quinn handles the details, but you answer to me. Fine with me. Just keep Captain Protocol off my back. Moff Hurden was all about regulations too. War Trust did a lot more damage than they should have. Hurden didn't think a soldier could strategize. Proved him wrong. Erden was a fool to ignore your natural talents. Doesn't matter much now. I'm here, and Hurden stuck on Taris. Give me the freedom he didn't, and you'll see results. The others will tell you. I accept only the best. Shouldn't have any problem fitting in, then. Hey, Jaysa, what's up? Master, may I break character for a moment? Speak as a Jedi. I don't have a lot of time, Jaysa, but speak your mind. I'll try to be brief. I have a confession to make. As a handmaiden on Alderaan, I was surrounded by the falseness of nobles and their political agendas. I could have used my power to expose it all and bring a corrupt system to its knees, but... Out of fear, I held back. What were you afraid of? Maybe of revealing that I'm different. Or of not being strong enough to back it up and see it through. Even now, I wonder if it's your strength that will enable me to succeed and not my own fortitude. You have grown since those days, Jaser. Have confidence. Your belief in me goes a long way, Master. Still, I know myself. There's some of that... Alderani and Handmaiden left in me, and I can get discouraged without tangible progress. I promise we will build towards success. Promises are a good start. Please bear with me, Master. I have much to learn. Okay, uh, Quinn, what do you want? My lord, I am receiving reports of a failed military incursion. It seems one of our special ops battalions was following shaky intel and walked into an ambush. We're the only ship in the sector that can relay their distress calls to high command. 
Permission to transmit their coordinates for extraction. Do it. Immediately. Yes, my lord. Hopefully the consequences of this blunder can be lessened. Vet, do you have anything to say for yourself? You've got a serious look in your eye. First time for everything. Okay, so I've been thinking about you. About me. About all of that. You're a super powerful Sith Lord who can have anything he wants. I'm a former slave and a thief. And you chose me? Seriously? You're beautiful, charming, sometimes crazy, and always exciting. What man wouldn't choose you? Um, yes. Speechless. To be continued. Until later, then. Yeah, later. No, oh no, 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 no. Cancel. Shit, I didn't. Well, that's not how we talk. What's on your mind? Nothing. Why, you expect me to be all mopey? It's too nice outside. Let's play two truths and a lie. I tell you three things about me, and you tell me which isn't true. Maybe you haven't been paying attention. I win all contests. Okay, here goes. I've been in jail 16 times. I've got three sisters. I've worked as a hired assassin. Which one is a lie? You only have one sister. Yes, Tiva. Good job. I'll have to try something a bit more obscure next time. Okay, enough games. I wouldn't want someone to start thinking the Sith were getting fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. I'm just gonna do some more stuff on my own.